Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. The Brave web browser for desktop has received a version upgrade from version 1.48 to 1.49. And because the browser is based on the open source Chromium platform, has also been upgraded to the latest Chromium engine version 111. Now this update rolled out on the 9th of March, and as is normal with the Brave uh, version upgrades, there's quite a lot going on. And um, just to dive straight in and looking at some key highlights taken from the general updates. So there's a couple of add-ons, updates, fixes, and just to look at those quickly. Now, um, once the update has been applied, Brave say they have added the copy text from image entry to the image context menu. Now, as yet, I have fiddled around with this before posting. Right-clicked on numerous images, and I can still not see copy text from image in the image context menu. So that could be on a controlled rollout and is region specific. So um, if you haven't seen it yet, maybe you'll get it a bit later, but is um, listed as a new feature. Now, um, they've also added the ability to import from Whale Browser. So if you are moving over from the Whale Browser to the Brave Browser, you can now import your data straight across. And if you are using Brave in India, they've updated the default search engine to Brave Search for new installations in India. Then heading over to the settings and the appearance page, um, they've updated options for show bookmarks. And you get now always, never, and also only on the new tab page. So there's a couple of options available now to show the bookmarks bar in the browser. And if we head to the sidebar and we click on Brave Talk, um, they've updated the Brave Talk sidebar button to activate the Brave Talk tab from any window. So that can be used now and acti be activated from the sidebar in any window. And uh, um, heading back to the settings. And this time if we go over to get started and profile name and icon. Um, they fixed certain cases where person one profile could not be deleted. So if you were battling to delete a person one profile, that bug has been addressed. And then heading back to the new tab page, um, they fixed custom background image that wasn't always being displayed on the new tab page. So that bug has been addressed. And when we go and head over to the customize dashboard, they fixed background image options under under customized dashboard not displaying when the system language was in Spanish. So if you are a Spanish user and your language was set to Spanish, then that bug has been addressed. And uh, um, they fixed intermittent issue where Brave News would not peak on the new tab page. And as you can see, uh, if you have Brave News enabled, which by the way, you can do by heading back to customize, uh, click on Brave News, and this is where you can enable Brave News. Once that has been enabled, the news will always peek out on the new tab page. So um, if it wasn't doing that, then that bug has been addressed. And uh, um, just to do a couple of quick mentions, they fixed an issue where importing multiple profiles put all imported data into a single profile. Um, they fixed inability to import extensions from Chromium-based web browsers and fixed extension import when importing multiple profiles. And then another uh, fix regarding the sidebar, um, fixed sidebar so that uh, the selection which was last displayed is shown on the sidebar when it is reopened. So whatever you had selected in the sidebar and your options were, um, that apparently wasn't saving those options. So that bug now has been addressed uh, in the sidebar. And then um, to double check, you have this latest update because um, there are numerous security fixes that have rolled out for the Chromium uh, project, which the browser is based on. Um, to double check, we always head up to the menu, click on About Brave, and the latest version and build now of the browser is 1.49.120, and the Chromium platform, as mentioned, 111.0.5563.64. Now, that Chromium update is a very important update because um, it does include 40 security fixes addressing 40 vulnerabilities. And eight of those vulnerabilities that have been addressed are high risk, which is your second highest after a critical vulnerability. So even if you are not interested in new features or add-ons, just double check your browsers up to date just to fix and patch the browser when it comes to security issues, as it is your first line of defense to the online world. Now, just before we end this video, just on a side note, um, something I didn't mention in the video is that the wallet and components regarding the wallet 
have received numerous um, add-ons, fixes, and little um, updates. So if you want to check those out more, uh, more in-depth, just click on the version, which will take you over to the release notes. And here you can see under Web3, all the different add-ons and updates and fixes in regards to the wallet and components regarding the wallet because I didn't do this because it's too many to mention for the purpose of today's video as we would be here all day. So if you want more info regarding the wallet, just click on the release notes. So that's more or less what's new in Brave version 1.49 with Chromium 111. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.